first few stages, it's just manual labor. We just have to push it in and then cover the whole thing in and, and make sure it's all solid clay. So just build from the top and then start working your way out. something around there. I'm gonna build up the forehead area a little bit and then we'll carve out the eyes and then suddenly, hopefully, it will start looking like a face. I think he's a bit too round. He needs to be more chiseled. Take away some of that. Giant by committee. We get some opinions on the nose here. The upper eyelid is very important. If it doesn't have eyelids, it looks startled. today is paper mache. Start on the uh, flatter part so you get a good sense of the material and then whoever feels brave, dive into the details. I'm hoping we can do seven layers today. There will be a giant, I guarantee it. First layer. Tick. Tick. <laughs> so I think it's just up to us how we want to play and construct yeah. them. Have various methods of cutting strips. But right, just go make a flag then. <laughs> Imagine um, each each bit of finger, each bit of knuckle yep. is going to be. We're gonna we're gonna have it in this kind of foam, okay? Yep. Apparently, it's traditional for puppets to have three fingers. We've got six different flags, all representing different parts of Shrewsbury, Morris, and we have two flags that represent the town itself. I'm building up layers of blue for the river and hopefully it's going to make um, really nice textures, a bit like choppy waters. <laughs> This is, you could see here, is uh, the vertical kind of like the spine and then this cross piece here, it's the uh, shoulder piece. That green pole is the um, where the head will attach. So the whole thing, three and a half meters. It's going to be tall. 14 feet. We're going to um, applique that on and then we're going to completely finish the flag. All that needs to be done is that it needs to be taken out into the car park <laughs> and given a good wave. Now we 
we have to think about how we're going to cut this open. It's a paper mache mask. The clay is just the form. The clay is the thing that makes the shape that we like. The paper is actually the mask. So if we cut right on the right on the outer edge of that ear. And so all this bit we're going to cut away. So it's going to come apart in two, I hope, in two pieces. That's a tough thing. It is tough, is it? Just get in there, get your fingers in there. Can you get your fingers above the ear at all? Whoa. Wow. Now we have to be careful with the face because we don't want to deform the face. Nice and firm, so we could push. I think what, that's coming, that's coming. There we go. Yay! Here we go. <laughs> well done, everybody. Hey, well done. a list. Nearly ready for painting, which is good. We need to keep our foot on the pedal. Four more days left. This is the hand that's holding the hammer. This hand will be holding the shoe, like that. We finished two flags yesterday and we'll probably very nearly finish two flags today. Put his strings in. Our puppet, his arms will be able to move and his head will be able to move and he'll be able to look at people, pick out particular people in the crowd and you will be able to tell that he's looking at you. We're doing this scrim, applying this cotton sheet. So this is gonna make a nice, durable outside layer. And this is the final layer before the paint. I'm trying to figure out how to make a shirt for a giant. I'm going to go for a bin liner and make the pattern and then I can cut the fabric out from that. We're about to paint the head. It needs to work from a distance as well as close up. And then of course there's a lot of character in how you paint the puppet as well. It's like a canvas. And here we go. I'm going for Shropshire Ready, whatever that is. There's about 10 of us here today, so there's people making hair, there's people doing the stands for the flags, there's people making the flags, there's people doing things on the giant. Um, everybody's been put to work in a different way. Mm. We're up against the clock, but I feel very confident. We've got a very nice crew. I should have been done with this guy, but I just wanted to touch him up a little bit today before he gets his hair on. Everybody wants to work really quickly. We'll get him done. He shall smartly step out in Shrewsbury with all the bits that he's supposed to have. That's worked out rather well. <laughs> More by accident than, than design. It might be the end of a very long day. By, by tonight, the giant will have his complete outfit. Two days away, the performances, which is, means that we are under a bit of pressure. 
I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm worried about the weather, I'm a bit scared about how it's all going to go together, um, but it'll be what it'll be, but yes, it'll be very exciting. We're going to glue them in rows going about four inches. Yeah, three inches or so. Okay, and then yeah. just hold it so that your fingers aren't there. Yeah, exactly. And just pat it down in that area. This is quite unique. people who've helped to make the giant and the flags, they'll be able to look at even just a tiny little bit and say, I did that bit. Or it might be a huge bit, but the tiny bits are just as important as the huge bits. And that's what makes him really belong to this group and really belong to Shrewsbury. I think I've done it now. <laughs> okay, we'll worry about the back later. So he's just having his first haircut. <laughs> He's got a bit of a surfer quality to him. It's, yeah? That is fabulous. That is really... <laughs> Thank you.